Hi all. I should congratulate all the viewers who have been watching this video on the module Tenses in 10 Days. I'm sure friends you must have been practicing well. On this last day, I would be dealing with future continuous. And with this module, I'm sure you will be able to use them, all this correct tenses pattern in your communication and be very successful. And let me also tell you again, friends, my intention behind to uh, show all these things in this small presentation is to help the basic learners who are from non-English medium to struggling to use correct tenses. So let's get started, friends. Yes. Future continuous means activities continuing in future. We use future continued, continuous tense for all the activities continuing in future. Continuing in future. Okay, the structure being I, we, you, they, he, she, it plus will or shall plus B plus V4. V4 as you know V1 plus ing form and V4 is always used for denoting continuity. Now example I will be playing football next week in my favorite place. I will be playing football next week in my favorite place. This is the example given. Okay, so we can use many other examples also and also we use future continuous tense for all the activities which are happening for sure. Like I will be traveling to my hometown next week. Means whichever activity is happening for sure, for those activities also we use future continuous tense. Now, how the question pattern would be? The question pattern would be will or shall plus I, we, you, they, he, she, it plus B plus V4. Will I be playing, reverse it, will I be playing football next week in my favorite place? This is the example. Just reverse it. Many other examples you can try it for yourself. So, friends, I hope this module tenses in 10 days has been very useful to you and you'll be practicing well and just to have a recap I will be telling the use of each tense again in this module simple present first tense it is used for daily activities universal facts unique things and present activities second one is present continuous tense which will be used for all the activities continuing in the present and present perfect is used for all the activities completed recently. Present perfect continuous tense we use it for all the activities started in the past continuing in the present and we, do, we know when the action started in the past I mean we know past action time. Next one is simple past. Simple past is used for all the activities completed in the past. Past continuous all the activities which were continuing in the past from one point of time to another point of time. Past perfect is used for the activity which is completed before another activity has taken place. And past perfect continuous tense is used for the activity continuing for some time before something activity or some action had already taken place. And simple future it is used for all the activities which are going to happen in future. And future continuous tense is used for all the activities which are continuing in future and for the activities which are for sure to happen. So this is all about 
my attempt to uh, give uh, uh, to help you all in 10 days the structure of these tenses. Hope you all will be benefited by using this. Thank you all. Keep viewing my videos which are yet to come in the days to come. Thank you so much. All the best for all your successful career. Thank you.